Hi, I'm Eve Malazis Cunningham from selfcarecoaching.net and you're in the right place if you're after simple and effective ways to regulate your nervous system and feel better every day. If you want to create a life you don't need to retreat from, hit subscribe to make it less likely that you'll miss new videos and podcast episodes. In this video, you'll build on what you learnt in the What is Yoga Nidra and Trauma Sensitive Yoga Nidra and the um, one about some research and benefits of Yoga Nidra videos. You'll also learn how to maximise the Sankalpa element of the Yoga Nidra practice. This will make it easier than you might have imagined to help you keep focused and on track, taking actions that are aligned with your intentions, goals and dreams. You're essentially harnessing the power of the unconscious mind. So the Sankalpa is a positive intention or resolve. It's an important element of Yoga Nidra in the tradition taught by Swami Satyananda Sarasvati. So you'll want to go back to the first video in this series, um, What is Yoga Nidra and Trauma Sensitive Yoga Nidra, to find out more about his influence on Yoga Nidra as we know it today. And a Sankalpa is something that comes from the heart. It's something we genuinely want for ourselves. It's something generally that benefits others too. It's not a should, it's not a need to. To give you an example of this, for years I would occasionally have, I'm going to learn how to drive or I'm learning how to drive or <sighs> even just saying that, it makes my heart sink. Earlier this year, I changed it to I'm becoming an excellent driver and I have actually been learning to drive. I passed my theory test last year, so I've been having lessons since late January and I'm almost ready to book in for my test. And I can't tell you the difference. The same goal, but framed in a different way, coming from the heart, thinking about what kind of driver do I want to be? Why do I want to learn to drive rather than, ugh, I really need to learn to drive. So um, it's not something you should be doing or that you need to do. It makes the heart sink to even, the heart sing to even think about. And by working with the same Sankalpa until it becomes a reality for you, you're getting into the habit of imagining this desired outcome and intention every single time you practice Yoga Nidra. You're creating and strengthening new neural pathways which are aligned with what you want rather than what you don't want. If you think about it, we so often put ourselves into a trance almost, hypnotising ourselves into worst case scenarios. A Sankalpa is a way to really harness your mind, focus on what you want. So um, the notes have links to some features and blog posts explaining more about Sankalpas, but you don't need to complicate things. Ask yourself right now, if someone gave you one wish, what would you use it for? What do you want? How does it feel to say it to yourself in the present tense as a positive intention? Let yourself use all of your senses to imagine it becoming a reality for you. Imagine how you will see yourself, how others will see you, what else you can see. Imagine what you'll be saying to yourself, what others might be saying to you, any other sounds. It might be sounds of nature, it might be music, it might be talk, it might be applause, anything at all. Make it as vivid for yourself as possible. Really connect with um, the most prominent feeling you associate with your Sankalpa becoming a reality for you. Let that feeling, that emotion drive you forward. Connect with whatever that is. It might be delight, it might be pride, it might be awe, it might be joy, it might be love. Whatever it is for you, really connect with it and use your other senses. Imagine the physicality of where you are and what you're doing in your imagination as you think about your Sankalpa. So you might want to imagine like the shoes you're wearing or if you're barefoot or what kind of ground you're standing on and um, what kind of clothes you're wearing and um, what you might be touching or sitting on, what the air feels like around you, really using your senses and even bringing in taste and smell if there's food or drink or anything you can smell to give you a sense of what success with your Sankalpa feels like. So each of my Trauma Sensitive Yoga Nidra videos encourages you to connect with your Sankalpa, but the shorter ones won't go into as much detail. So do feel free to contact me if you've got any questions and want to make yours more effective and enjoyable. 
um, by connecting with your Sankalpa each time you practice a yoga nidra, you let yourself connect with your creative imagination from a state of deep rest and relaxation. This helps you imagine challenges and triumphs along the way. It helps you put plans in place to support yourself through the inevitable bumps and build in little dopamine boost rewards to celebrate yourself as you move closer to it in real life as well as in your imagination. So having a reminder of your Sankalpa will help you as well. So this might be spelled out, written down, or it might be something more subtle, whatever suits you, as long as you easily remember it each time you see it. So having it in your daily life, dotted around your home, your car, I've got mine on my phone's wallpaper screen. So you're using your retinal activation system to help you notice opportunities, synchronicities and other signs. Um, it also helps you to stay focused and motivated, taking those tiny little actions. So um, thanks for watching this video about how a Sankalpa can help you make your dreams and goals a reality faster, more enjoyable and more easy than you might have imagined. Please watch the rest of this series on Yoga Nidra to help you get the most out of each of your Yoga Nidra practices with me and with anyone else. You can see the What is Yoga Nidra and Trauma Sensitive Yoga Nidra and some research and benefits of Yoga Nidra by going to the notes section for links and for the next episode you'll learn how to prepare for each Yoga Nidra practice to maximise your comfort, relaxation and the mind-body benefits. Please hit subscribe to make it less likely that you'll miss it. Thanks again for watching.